table element in WeWeb is perfect to display a list of items that you have in your backend. In our case, we have a list of rental cars that we want employees at a rental uh, location to be able to update with the correct mileage of the car when the customer returns the car to the rental location. So the first thing we had to do was create a table. Uh, let's do this together. So we'll go to an empty page. And the first thing we'll need to do is drag and drop a blank section. And in that section, we'll go and drag and drop the tables element, which is here that you can search for here. So we'll drag and drop it here. And then you see here that we have a header with the different columns. So we'll actually only need uh, three columns. We want uh, the car name, the rental location, and the mileage. So we'll delete three columns and change the car name, uh, rental location, and mileage. We also need only one um, one line. The reason for that is that we're gonna is going to be very obvious very soon. So we'll delete all the other lines. And the reason we only need one line is that if we bind the collection, it'll automatically uh, repeat items. So we've already added our fleet collection. If you don't know how to do that, um, there's a tutorial for that. So at the level of the collection list, which you can identify with the purple icon here, we'll bind our collection, uh, which is uh, the fleet data. That's what we want. And then automatically when we do that, it will create new lines. So even though there's only one line in the navigator, it'll automatically create as many um, repeated items as there are cars or well, items in our uh, collection. So in this case, um, I actually um, don't need, again, I only need uh, three columns. So I'll delete um, these flex boxes. So I only have three left. And here I'm going to bind um, the data that I want. So the car name, the rental location, and then the mileage. And let me get rid of this. And there you go. That's how you um, drag and drop a table in WeWeb and add your data to display in the WeWeb table. Now, that's great, but what we showed in your example is we showed that our users would be able to um, update uh, this uh, this table. Uh, you might want them to be able to sort through the table uh, with you know sort sort icons, or you might even want them to be able to uh, filter through the data based on the rental location, for example, with a drop down uh, menu. So all of that is also possible in WeWeb and the subject of separate tutorials. So I invite you to check these out in the WeWeb Academy, weweb.io slash academy.